Hello everyone, my name is Kiva and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to shop for luxury decor at Home Goods for the holiday season. Now we all love home goods. I think that's something that we all have in common, but they have so many different things, what things look good and what things should stay at the store. We're gonna cover all of that today. Before we get into today's video though, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram, but let's start shopping. Home Goods is a phenomenal store. It is one of my all time favorite stores. And when the holiday season hits, it really hits at Home Goods. All of your vases and everything, it's all gone. All of your artwork is gone. It is a suddenly a Santa's workshop. And I love that for us. I love that for us. But what items should stay at the store and what items should we bring home to make sure that our houses look luxurious? Well, let's just jump right into it. So number one, what you need to do when you step in home goods is to stay away from those signs. So now I'm not, I'm not like everyone on YouTube. I don't have a vendetta against signage. I really don't, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the farmer's market sign, but if you need the farmer's market sign, you need the farmer's market sign. Who am I going to tell, who am I to tell you not to get it? But I really do want you to stay away from signs for the holiday season because they are very, they're very cheesy, right? I think if you have kids and something like that, you got to have the signs. The signs are amazing but I think that they really truly detract from your home decor for the holiday season. So if it's a Santa's workshop or this or that, I just kind of want you to scoot past it while you're in home goods. Sure, you can look at it, you can take a picture, you can tell somebody else to get it so you can enjoy it in their homes, but I just don't think you should bring that home. Now, if you do feel like you have to bring it home, I want you to incorporate those things into spaces such as powder rooms, bathrooms, laundry rooms, um, you know, places that aren't as front and center and places where you don't have those luxury Christmas trees because I don't want you to spend all of this time and effort and money making your Christmas trees look really sophisticated for that to be detracted from by those signs. I just don't want you to spend all of this time, effort, and money decorating your Christmas trees in a really luxurious way for that to kind of be canceled out by those signs. So I know they're cute. They're super cute. I, I have mugs. I have mugs with the little words on them. You can do that, but otherwise leave them at the store because they just don't look luxurious. They don't scream luxurious luxury Christmas. So now that we've passed on those signs, the next thing I want you to look for while you're in home goods are those flocked wreaths and those flocked pieces of garland. So if you don't know what flock means, it basically means covered in snow. And snow covered items always tend to look a little bit more luxurious because it kind of detracts from the plastically nature of those pine needles, right? They're not using real pine to make these faux wreaths and these faux pieces of garland, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I use all faux things in my home for the holiday because I'm actually allergic to uh, Christmas trees, but we want them to look as real as possible because, you know, we could just go get something real, right? So to do that, I want you to get things that are flocked. They look so much more high end. They hide the imperfections and it's just a really nice ode to the white Christmas. The white Christmas always looks so sophisticated, so fantastic. And it kind of reminds us of the snow when a lot of us aren't getting snow because we live in pretty warm climates and it just doesn't snow for the holidays. So I think it's a great way to bring some holiday cheer and make sure that things look really sophisticated. Just look at something that is not flocked versus something that is flocked. It, they look like they're from different stores. One of them looks like they're made by Martha Stewart and one of them looks like Martha Stewart would have nothing to do with that. We just want to keep that in mind when we're in home goods because they have a ton of good things, but getting something flocked, it looks more high end. Plus it saves you a lot of time because I know a lot of people say, oh, I'll just flock it myself with some snow spray. That's so messy. It's so much effort. Just buy it flocked to begin with. It's easier and it's going to save you a bunch of time. Home Goods has a ton of ornaments out. And again, we want to stay away from the ornaments that have writing on them because it's very similar to those signs that I also told you to keep at the store. But when you get into Home Goods, I really wanted you to book it to that ornament section because they have a ton of really fantastic and high end looking ornaments. But how do you tell whether or not an ornament looks high end? So something I see with Christmas ornaments all the time is they obviously do have seams, right? Because they are taking two halves and they're putting it together to make holes. So they use that. They do 
that using fire or glue or whatever it is that they're doing, but seeing that line, it just doesn't look as good. It looks a little bit more cheap. So what I want you to do is look for seamless ornaments. So you want something that looks like it was always just one unit. It just looks a lot more high end and you don't have to think about really how to position your ornaments in your space. Cause I often always feel I'm trying to hide those seams and I end up having to really be intentional where, with where I put ornaments on my tree. And sometimes you just kind of want to throw the ornaments up and be done with it because you want to enjoy it instead of spending hours upon hours decorating that tree. So just look out for that. Now, if you can't find seamless ornaments, don't worry, I have another tip. What I want you to do is in fact, look for ornaments that have a ton of texture because texture hides those seams, texture hides those imperfections. So you can look for a flocked ornaments. So those are ornaments covered in snow. You can look for ones that have some pattern and some detail, just something that kind of distracts you from that seam if it does have a seam so that it just looks a little bit more sophisticated. And on the whole, I also encourage you to kind of stay away from really high gloss ornaments. They're super shiny and a lot of light bounces off of them. So that kind of distorts the color of them. And I don't enjoy that as much. I think I prefer ones that have more texture to them. They can be cut. They can have a color. I actually love ornaments with color, but not something super high gloss. If it is high gloss, maybe it could be an antique glass. So, you know, the high light hits it differently. It's a little bit more visually interesting, um, but the high gloss ones, they just tend to look a little bit more cheap, even though they're the same price. So if you're going to spend the same amount of money anyway, look for those matte ornaments, those textured ornaments, those pattern ornaments, they just look so much more robust. Now, this is a mistake that I make all the time at home goods, especially during the holiday season, because everything is just so cute. And I do this at home goods in every other store, but especially at home goods. They have the little tchotchkes, they have the little things. Um, it's a little snow globe, it's a little animated something, and they have all of these really little cute pieces and I pick them up, but size matters. A size matters when it comes to your Christmas decor. If something is really itty bitty and it's $10, there's no point in buying that because you can't even see it in the grand scheme of things. When you go into home goods, I want you to get those bigger pieces. I want you to spend your money wisely because those little things, we just don't see them as much. I say, if you want the little animated houses, um, the, the little tchotchkes, the little decorative accents, get them from places like the Dollar Tree, get them at Walmart where there's just a little bit more affordable and put them in places like your kitchen and your entryway um, where you can't have things that are too large in the first place. So just stay away from those things. If you really feel like you need something a little bit cheesy for the holidays, which I certainly do, I actually get kitchen towels. So I get kitchen towels. They always have dogs on them and they always have like a Christmas hat on or a pumpkin for Halloween. Get something that's themed in that way, um, but not something that's themed in another way. It just keeps the house looking classy and you spend less money because we always buy these little tiny things. But if we don't have a surface to put them on um, or if we don't have a small space they kind of lose their value so you're you're cluttering up your services and you're really wasting your money so just stay away from those things at home goods again that's something that you should just look at at the store look at at someone's house else's house but pass up on it because we never want to make our homes look cluttered for the holiday because then we're kind of distracted we don't know what to look at the goal with holiday decor is to accessorize what we already have sure some people turn their homes in an entire winter wonderland for Christmas and I'm all here for it. But for a lot of us, that's not practical, especially now because a lot of us work for home. So our Christmas decor has to be practical as well, as well as look good. So I want to design things in a way that is kind of in the background. So that's why my Christmas trees, they're over here. That's why I add decor to my bowls. The things that are already on display, I add decor to them. I don't trade them, right? So when we're at home goods, we just want to look for things that are going to take up space and that can be used to accessorize the things we already have, not things that we really don't have a natural place for. If you're looking for a really easy way to integrate Christmas decor naturally into your home, Home Goods is the best place for this because they put out a lot of decorative throws and pillows for the holiday. So yeah, you may not want something that says winter wonderland in it or ho, ho, ho. Well, I do love those things. You may not want that, but what you can do is switch out your throw pillows and your throws for things that are in the Christmas spirit. So maybe you'll get something that is white and boucle or white and fuzzy that kind of reminds you of snow. You may also 
swap out your black pillows for maybe something that's burgundy or something that's green to establish the holiday spirit. Even you can switch out things to be different, you know, um, materials. So velvet is something we see in Christmas decor all the time. A lot of our stockings are made out of velvet and Santa hats are often made out of velvet as well. So maybe we'll incorporate more velvet into the space and home goods has tons of pillows and throws that kind of fulfill these needs. Faux fur is always really popular for the holidays, burgundy, maroon, green, red. They put all these things out. So get those things from home goods. They're really great accessories and they allow for seamless transitions into the holiday. You're not taking up more space. You're just kind of swapping out what you already have for something that is in the holiday spirit. And again, to make it easier on yourself, avoid the words, avoid all of the sparkles and just get things that are really nice and classy and simple looking, but do integrate those colors. Now, when the holiday season rolls around, of course, Home Goods puts all of those Christmas things on display and all of those holiday things on display, and we love that. But don't forget to go to those other sections. In particular, still go to the candle section. The Christmas candles tend to be green or red or colors that we may not love, and they tend to be more expensive. But if you go back to that normal candle section, the prices remain the same, and they tend to be a little bit more affordable. Plus, they have more neutral colors. I love introducing pillar candles for the holidays, whether they be bad battery operated or real ones. And sometimes I just want white or cream and you can get that from the normal candle section. I cannot tell you the number of really high end LED pillar candles I have found in the normal candle section in home goods that I can use for Christmas this year and for years to come. Don't forget to keep looking at other parts of the store. The store has a ton of things for you. You use it all year round to decorate your home. Don't forget about those things. Same thing goes for that decorative accent section. If your store still keeps decorative accents on display, look for things that are silver and gold because silver and gold are colors that we often use for the holiday season because they're those nice metallic touches in our space. So maybe get a gold vase or a gold pot or a silver plate or silver this or silver that or silver decorative orb. Try to introduce those Christmas colors more throughout your home with those decorative objects. So maybe you don't wanna put garland everywhere, but if your Christmas theme is silver and gold, like mine is this year, maybe I'll swap out some of my black things for something that is more silver or more gold. So the entire home looks cohesive, even if everything isn't branded, branded with Santa Claus. Now, we love home goods, but I do need to say this to wrap up today's video. When you're shopping at home goods for the holiday season, you need to think about the cost relative to the quantity. So, when it comes to holiday season, there are so many different things on display, and you're like, what is the best deal? Sometimes we get so excited and we don't think about price. While I love home goods, sometimes they'll sell two ornaments or a pack of four ornaments for $20. That is just not cost effective. So, you need to think about the cost of things relative to the quantity that you are getting. Sure, if something is $20 and that seems like a less a small sum of money, well, if you're only getting four things, think about how many, you know, times you're going to have to spend $20 to fill up your Christmas tree. Plus, you're going to have to be able to track down those ornaments. And when we're shopping at places like Home Goods, they have the inventory that they have. Sometimes we find something at Home Goods and it's another 6 months before we find a matching something. So, I just want you to keep that in mind and just look for those bigger sets of ornaments then. Instead of looking for those smaller things which tend to be more expensive and then you can't even buy multiples of it look for bigger sets of ornament look for bigger sets of decor but also continue to think about price even though something looks good at home goods you might be able to get it more affordably at walmart tj maxx anything like that price matters and i will say that while this video is about home goods and i love shopping at home goods for the holidays please don't forget to go to places like target walmart big lots and at home at home is my all-time favorite place for christmas decor because i find it to be very high quality and I also find that it is fairly affordable so just keep your options open. I know we fall in love with home goods and they put on these beautiful displays but other stores are really good resources for you as well. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Those are my tips and tricks on how to shop for luxury home decor at Home Goods this holiday season. Have you picked up anything great for Home Goods for your Christmas or holiday display? Let me know down in the comments. I need to know what to hunt for on my next Home Goods trip. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.